。いい正解。Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 79 Part 3. Although Ming Chi was considered quite open about matters between male and female, but getting pregnant before marriage and having an illicit relationship was a matter that will lose the clan's reputation. Once it was found out, one would be drowned in a pond. The Shen family was considered a prominent official family in Ming Chi. Even though Shen Gui's rank was not comparable as Shen Xin's, it was not considered as low. The higher Shen Gui's position was in, The worst the impact of the matter was. The Empress, who was in charge of the six palaces, also could not get used to such filthy matters, and her cold voice made everyone hear the old values that were held. Ren Wan Yan only felt bitterness in her mouth and did not say a single sentence. What could she say? That Shen King was not having an illicit relationship but was violated. But no matter which way, The fact was that her innocence was lost. As for the matter of Prince Yu, she even more could not say a single word. Prince Yu had the character of haggling over every cent, and if one bit him, one would not have anything good to eat. If Shen Furen does not speak, then let Shen Young Lady speak. The Empress's eyes were suddenly sharp as she instructed the palace maids beside her Go wake Shen Young Lady up. Ben Gong has some questions to ask. Ren Wan Yun was shocked, but the palace maids beside the Empress already came forward. Their actions were very quick, and Ren Wan Yun did not have time to block them before those two palace maid managed to brutally wake Shen King up. When Shen King woke up, She felt a sharp pain in her abdomen but heard the Empress coldly speaking from the highest position, Shen King, Ben Gong asked you, who was the father of the fetus in your womb? When Shen King heard this, she froze and looked towards Ren Wan Yun for help. In Ren Wan Yun's desperation, she could only slightly shake her head at Shen King, telling her not to anyhow speak. As for what happened later, Ren Wan Yun will find a way to save her. Shen King saw Ren Wan Yun shaking her head. Even though she did not understand her intentions, she dared not speak nonsense, so she responded evasively This official daughter, this official daughter. Unable to speak properly, Shen Mia lightly sighed and said, Eldest sister should say it. Now that one has now committed a felony and since there is such an outcome like this, One cannot just let you bear the brunt of it with this life of yours. Ren Wan Yun looked at Shen Miao hatefully and could not wait to tear Shen Miao's mouth apart. Shen King trembled and her eyes were filled with horror. Shen Miao's words meant that it would be hard for her to escape death. Between life and death, Shen King would not care for anything else and suddenly said loudly, No, no, my child is His Highness Prince Yu of the first rank. The child in my womb is the flesh and blood of flesh and blood of His Highness Prince Yu. A new wave arose when the previous one has barely subsided. So many things actually happened on such a good returning banquet. Prince Yu of the first rank. Everyone looked at Prince Yu and their eyes narrowed, but the eyes that were towards Shen King was very gloomy. King Er, do not say nonsense. Ren Wan Yun rushed over to cover Shen King's mouth, but the words that were spoken were like spilt water and could not be retrieved back. Shen King's eyes widened and stared straight at Prince Yu. Her thoughts were also very simple, since she had engaged in an illicit relationship and premarital pregnancy, it was a confirmed ending. As long as the fetus in her womb was Prince Yu's flesh and blood, then it would be related to the imperial lineage, which was equal to having a life preserving ticket. No matter what, What? The emperor would not order the execution of his own nephew. Shen Mia looked at Shen King and she felt it funny in her heart. She could roughly guess what Shen King was thinking in her heart, but she also had forgotten that there was phrase called, getting rid of the mother and keeping the child. In the inner palace, this method was used a hundred of times without weariness. Did Shen King really thought that because of that little flesh and blood? Could one live safe and sound? It would only make one die faster. The emperor's and empress expressions were uncertain as this involved Prince Yu, so it was not that simple. At the male side of the banquet, Shen Kaiyu and Shen Xin glanced at one another. It was still all right for Shen Xin as he was only somewhat stunned with the matter, but Shen Kaiyu secretly clenched his fists. Previously, Shen Miao had been afraid to tell him who was the person who violated Shen King, and now he understood everything. No wonder Shen Miao was unwilling to speak. 
it was because it was Prince Yu of the first rank, thinking that if it was not for Shen Miao's good luck, the person who would be in Shen King's current situation would be his own younger sister. A wave of anger formed in Shen Kaiyu's heart. Prince Yu did not admit to it but did not deny it either. Like that, this can almost be determined. Everyone looked at Shen King with eyes of sympathy and compassion. Prince Yu had been using a variety of means and methods to secretly capture young females and even dare to make a move on an official family's daughters. It so happened that the unlucky person was Shen King. In the blanket of silence, Shen Miao's soft voice rang out. No wonder just now His Highness Prince Yu proposed to marry a Shen family's young lady. So it is to give eldest sister a title. The words were said flutteringly but the people present came into realization. No wonder just now Prince Yu wanted to marry and mentioned about a young lady of the Shen family. It was Shen King and they even have an unborn child together. In a moment, the eyes that were looking at Shen King changed. In this way, it was not like Prince Yu was forcing her but that Shen King was willing to be a Huang Fi. This fifth Shen young lady is powerful. Su Ming Feng was surprised, her ability of reversing black to white is extremely high. Most of the people were led by the nose but this did not represent everyone. Those who were clear-minded still remembered that when Prince Yu mentioned about marrying a young lady of the Shen family, he was looking at Shen Miao. Zi Jingxing folded his arms and looked at the opposite purple-clad young female with a smile yet not a smile. No one knew when all the people in the banquet was led by Shen Miao by the nose. The development of the situation to this point was all in her calculations. And this was not without risks. She had such big guts to gamble and her actions were so accurate that everyone's reactions were all in her palms and played a good game. That being the case. He did not mind to fan the waves to help. Immediately Zi Jingxing also said, it is good to have affection and faith. The emperor's brows wrinkled. One need to know that even though Prince Yu created nonsense in the past, he would not let the matter brew up to this stage. In private, there would always be a solution but now in front of a large crowd to punish this royal younger brother. One fear that this would make resentment to form in Prince Yu's heart and exposing this would make one feel that the emperor harbored too much and with subordinates following the examples of their superiors, it would deter all officials. Shen Miao's and Zi Jingxing's words proposed a good method. If one were to say that this two people did such things due to their feelings for each other, it would be understandable. He looked at the empress and the empress understood the intention and said, so the young lady that royal younger brother mentioned was actually Shen family's young lady. But you two are too much. How would the future be with such trouble provoked? Shen King's heart gave a big sigh of relief. Disregarding the pain in her abdomen, she half got up and knelt on the ground to cow tow and pleaded. It is all this official's daughter's fault. But this official's daughter could not bear the flesh and blood and plead with your majesty and your ladyship to spare this official's daughter once on the account of the baby. Shen King this time has lost all the dignity and even threw all her face away. The empress looked at her disgustedly but blandly said, one need to bear responsibility for a crime but since today is the returning banquet, only happy events are discussed. Royal younger brother has been widowed for so many years, so Bing Gong will do a good thing today and gift both of you a marriage blessing and a harmonious union. Shen King had managed to pick her life back and delightedly said, thanking your majesty and your ladyship fulfillment. She did not know how ugly this action of hers was in others' eyes. Previously Shen King only said that Shen Miao could not be seen in public but now, Shen King herself had become buddy daughter of the Shen family that could not be seen in public. Prince Yu darkly looked at Shen King, his eyes turned and landed on Shen Miao. Up high in his seat, the emperor stared at him warningly and Prince Yu could only cup his hands obeisance and said slowly, thanking Imperial Elder Brother and Imperial Sao for fulfilling. The chill in those words were only known by the people present. The corners of Shen Miao's lips hooked up and there was no traces of fear when facing Prince Yu's eyes. The pair of bright clear eyes had traces of delight but hidden in the pleasure there was a trace of ferociousness as if it was as cruel as a beast. Today was only the appetizer and the main dish that was for Prince Yu residence was still at the back. To wipe Prince Yu's plans cleanly away in front of his face, 
Presumably at this moment Prince Yu's heart was full of rage. When people had anger in their heart, they would make mistakes easily and this kind of mistake was like the incorrect chess pieces of a game. One then have to pursue a retreating enemy and destroy their carriages and soon one could game. She tilted her head and her eyes were bright. Even though the smile on her lips was gentle, there was an indescribable chill of horror. It has begun, Prince Yu.